What's up everyone and welcome back to the Liver Live. Today let's get started with saying to Liverpool makes sense, Liverpool may have to dip back into the transfer market to sign a new attacker in January. Indeed, the rumours linking Mohamed Salah with a move to Saudi Arabia aren't going away, and if the Saudis do offer up a couple of hundred million pounds for the Egyptian this winter, a transfer could be on the cards. If Salah does go, Liverpool will need to replace him and one player who has been linked as of late is Bayern Munich's Leroy Sane, the German is said to be a target for the Reds, and speaking on ESPN, Jonas Michalik has claimed that a move for the Bayern Munich star could make a lot of sense, the pundit shared his verdict on the £44 million man moving to Anfield. As always with these rumours it would make sense positionally, the way he plays and he is familiar with the league. If Mo Salah does go it would make sense. I don't know if he'll continue to play like this or even better. You know how Bayern Munich deal, they don't sell players, they don't have to. One of a few clubs who aren't in the Premier League who don't have to, Michalik said. Endre could have a chance to join Liverpool, the January transfer window is creeping up on us now, and there are a few subplots that are already worth keeping an eye on heading into the winter. The futures of Pedro Neto and Ivan Tony seem to be making a lot of headlines already, while Liverpool, somehow, may still need another midfielder. Writing for Court Offside, Fabrizio Romano has now, once again, addressed the rumours that Liverpool could go in for Fluminense Endre in January. Romino says that a deal for Endre won't be easy in January, but the player himself feels as though he is ready for the next step and there is a chance that he could be unfield bound next year. Romano shared what he knows about the young Brazilian. Another name coming up with Liverpool is talented young Fluminense midfielder Endre. I think he could have a chance to move in 2024, but we will see what happens in terms of negotiation with Fluminense. It won't be easy as they are always strong in negotiations. But Endre is absolutely ready for the next step, he's very talented, and has a great mentality, Romano wrote. Liverpool handed Ben Doak concern ahead of Merseyside derby. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has suffered yet another untimely injury scare ahead of Saturday lunchtime's Premier League Merseyside derby against Everton at Anfield. The Reds will seek to snap a two-game winless run in the top flight when they resume domestic duties this weekend. Having taken just one point from six before the October international break, the Reds' medical team have already been dealing with an influx of players into the treatment room since the season started, and the Anfield Giants must now cope with a fresh concern to 17-year-old winger Doak. The former Celtic youngster was called up to the Scotland under-21 squad for their Euros qualifiers against Hungary and Malta. Starting and scoring from the penalty spot in a 3-1 win over the former last Friday, However, Doak was then withdrawn just after the hour mark in that affair, and he was subsequently ruled out of Scotland's 2-1 win over Malta on Tuesday with that unspecified concern. The Liverpool Echo states that the Reds are still none the wiser when it comes to the severity of Doak's problem. But the 2005-born starlet has now emerged as a doubt for the visit of Everton, barring a late fitness problem for Mohamed Salah. Doak would have only been on the bench for the derby, but the teenager has already made quite the impression during his earliest days at senior level. Doak has already made eight competitive appearances for Klopp's side, including starts in the Europa League and EFL Cup this season, prior to which he played in five pre-season friendlies and scored in a 4-0 thrashing of Leicester City. Alongside the stricken Scotsman, Liverpool are guaranteed to remain without Thiago Alcantara, Yip, and Kawamin Kelleher, Nee this weekend, while Andy Robertson is expected to miss out too. Kulusevski view on both of Liverpool's red cards, Liverpool's disappointing loss to Tottenham Hotspur may now be a thing of the past, but the controversy surrounding the result certainly isn't, with Dejan Kulusevski the latest player to comment on the horrendous officiating. When the Reds arrived in London to face Tottenham last month, everything was going wonderfully, the team was unbeaten. They had dropped just two points all season and goals were flowing to say the least. However, as we all now know, this unbeaten run was brought to an end by, perhaps, the worst decision VAR has ever made since its inception. Luis Diaz's perfectly legal goal in the first half was incorrectly ruled out for offside and a calamitous two minutes in the VAR room meant that the decision wasn't overturned. Despite the officials knowing the decision was incorrect mere seconds after it was made, the PMGOL apologized for the error and subsequently released the audio from the incident. However, many believe an apology simply isn't enough for a mistake. 
take this big, and Klopp himself called for a replay as the only fair resolution to an unprecedented mistake during a subsequent press conference. Players, pundits and fans all have differing opinions on the comments from the Liverpool boss, but now Tottenham star Dejan Kalusevski has called the mistake, just part of the game, speaking to Football Scanalan. The Swedish international said, I don't think anything will happen. Mistakes happen in every game. It was just a mistake, and they were very angry that they got zero points even though they played a good game, and I understand them. A replay has probably never happened and I don't think it will happen. There are so many mistakes every match, it's absolutely insane. Sure, it was a big mistake in a top game and they were obviously very disappointed because it affected the game, but I can find mistakes in every match. So it's part of the game and you move on. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.